oftentimes we hear the word funnel or funnels being thrown around, especially if you're into web design. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a real life example of when a funnel can be applied and how it can benefit a company that wants to increase either leads or sales. Hi, my name is Mac from MacUniversity.com. I create marketing and web design tutorials. So if you are into that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe and the bell notification. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing a real life example whereby I go online, search for a specific uh, topic or a specific service that I need. Whatever results come up, we're going to take a look at a few websites and see how that kind of website or a funnel actually achieves better results. So I'll be showing you step by step and hopefully you will get an idea of how you can also apply these funnels in your own uh, business or if you're a freelance designer, perhaps you could start thinking about how you could apply this to your clients. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to do a search for personal trainers. So I'm just gonna come over here to Google search for personal trainers and the results that show here are results based on my area so I live in Birmingham in the UK so when I scroll down here I can see here the ratings so let's say I go to more places now I have a much better visual and I can see more of these companies okay so uh, let's say I want to check out a Simon King Fitness so I'm gonna click here on Simon King Fitness uh, take a look here I can see this guy is a personal trainer good reviews although it's just two and uh, this guy is way closer to where I am right now. So typically this is what a visitor or someone that needs a service would go through if they are looking for a service. Okay, so let's say um, I'm gonna go with Simon King Fitness. So uh, let me check out their website now. So I'm gonna click here on Simon King Fitness. And okay, this is the website. So it looks like nothing is really happening here. It's just a normal website that will normally build with any page builder, your home, about us, you know, that kind of stuff. So this, this website here has quite a lot of information about the personal training, examples, and all of that. Now, right now, I know it's too early, but this website does not really convert into either leads or sales because there isn't any like clear call to actions or maybe a way for me to sort of like get enticed to want to take on the personal training package. So what I've done ahead of time is I've gone ahead and created a version which I think will make much better sense. And this version is based on funnels okay so I'm gonna come over here to my website so this is a basic WordPress website it has a DV theme installed I use DV as my page builder because I find it much easier to create the pages that I need really fast okay so as you can see this is basic so what I'm gonna do now is to come over here to my funnels so I'm gonna click on flows and then I'm gonna click on a free session okay so I'm just gonna click here on view now if we were to redesign Simon King's website and have it look like this. So this is more of a design which is focused on leads and also focused on making sales. So as you can see here, free one-to-one -one gym session, and then you can have a description here. And this is a video that you would have describing uh, the one-to-one -one session, what goes in that one-to-one -one session. So if I was a visitor now to this website and I came over here, there's a lot of places that I need to, uh, to click in order for me to find exactly what I want. All I want is personal training. That's it, you know? So all this information, to be honest, doesn't, doesn't really interest me. Okay, so as we can see here, as we mentioned, uh, this page does not really do much. So over here, I'm saying, right, free one-to-one -one gym session. And if I'm interested, I can just click here, I'm interested. And then this is going to take me to this page. Book your free gym session. And then you can have the description here. And this is where I would add my name, my uh, phone number, email address, and so on. Now, why is this important for this personal trainer? If we take a look at this, if this personal trainer, and I assume that he wants to definitely book as many people as he can to his, um, to his business. So if you wanna book, the main focus now on your website, it, is, it needs to be focused on sales and bringing in offers or things that can, that can entice people to want to sign up for, for his sessions. So over here now we have the first name, we have phone number, email address. Now these are the inform uh, this information is important because you can use this to then follow up, okay? 
So we have the email address here. And what I've also added here is an order bump. So let's say he could sell like uh, workout videos that uh, you can work out from home. Now, since we're on this page and we are here to sign up for the free one-to-one -one session, it's in line with uh, the, the training that I could want to do at home. So this is where this um, order bump would come in. So if you click on that, it, this will update to $29, but I haven't updated it yet. So once we click here on place order, this is now going to take us to a thank you page just to confirm that the order has gone through. And uh, if there's any information, call me on and then I can add that number and email address. So as you can see, we have three pages. So these three pages are the first landing page is giving an offer. The second page is the, the booking page. And then the final page is the thank you page. So this is more effective than using a website like this. Ideally, this is okay just to showcase information, but if you really want a lot of people to sign up, definitely this wouldn't work and this wouldn't convert into more signups for the small business. Now, I have a graphical representation here and I'm gonna show you how this would work as well. So here, as I mentioned, we have the squeeze page. So this is the name that you'll often hear, squeeze page, and this is where you can either add a discount, a free trial or a special offer, and then they click on the button here, then they take them to the checkout page, and then on the checkout page, this is where you grab their information. Now here is where things get interesting. So as soon as they sign up, add in their name, their email address and phone number, they are now added automatically to an email list. So this is now your lead. So what happens now is once you've had uh, your lead now into your email autoresponder, this is where now you can automate emails to go out to your customers. So you don't have to go in and manually send emails out. So as soon as someone comes over here, add their name, email address, and phone number, they're now added onto the email sequence. And this is where firstly, they get the welcome email. And then email two could be an email where you're giving them exercise tips. Email three could be an email where you're giving them dieting tips. Now, why are we doing this? The reason why we're doing this is because we want to provide value. Because at the end of the day, once they come for the one-to-one -one session, ideally you want them to book for more sessions. So now as the trainer, the trainer has to do a very good job of making sure that the client is happy and they're giving them convincing information. So by first, sending these emails, it's, it's emails that are providing value. So this is what makes it even more exciting for whoever it is that's coming for the, for the free training session, one-to-one -one session um, is going to appreciate. And also, if you remember, people buy from people. So what I've just shown you, what I designed is, uh, is designed using a software called Cartflows. It's a software that makes it easier for you to create funnels. Now funnels are used all over the place um, in small businesses, online uh, course creators, bloggers. I mean, all these people use funnels. Even I use them in my own business, okay? So over here now, let me show you what it takes to build this. So I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard so what I've done ahead of time is I've gone ahead and I've installed Cutflows. It's a paid uh, plugin. So over here, if you go on flows, so if I come over here to free session, which is the one that I created, uh, if you come to analytics, this will tell you how it's converting. So you could see here how many people have come to the page, unique visits, and if you've made any money on the uh, upsell, it also shows you here. So this is where now you'd compare the different versions of your landing pages and see which one works better. So again, with this uh, product, you can do unlimited funnels. So what you need to set up this system is you need uh, two plugins, you need WooCommerce, and or you also need Cardflow Pro. So over here, I have Cardflow Pro and I also have WooCommerce, WooCommerce installed. So if I come over here to the products, this is where I would set up all my products. So as you can see here, this is my gym session and it's free. And uh, I've also added these workout videos, which I've added as the order bump and that's for 99. But of course, because it's an order bump, uh, I've applied a discount to it. And this consultation here is something that you can add as an upsell, but I'm gonna leave that for the next video where I talk, to, where I talk about how to add upsells and downsells in order for you to make even more money. Okay, so as we can see here, this page does not really show as the landing page. So that could be a problem because we want that when people come to our website, they see the offer right away on the page after doing your search. So let's say you've come over here on Google, you've done your search, and then you've landed on the page, boom, you have your free one-to-one -one 
session. That's going to be more enticing. So we want to our website to have that one to one uh, free one to one as our main landing page. So now let me show you how you can actually achieve that. So if I come over here to settings, I can go to reading. And then I'm going to set this as a static page. And then for the home page, I'm going to click this drop down and then set free session to our home page. I'm going to click on save changes. So now when I go to my website, it won't show the default um, blog page. Now it's going to show my main landing page. So as you can see here, this page is um, much, much better as compared to what we have here with Simon King. The main difference being the Simon King website, it has a lot of information. It's not geared towards selling a product or selling the service. Whereas this one here, which is based on the funnels, is based on that. So here we have a video, we have a description. And on the bottom here, we also have customer reviews. So you are more likely to want to take on this free one-to-one -one gym session. So if you're a freelance designer, this is what you'll be going to uh, Simon King to say, look, this is uh, what I can do for you. And uh, let's test it and see if it works. If it works, then you can, you know, work out on a retainer or even uh, charge for applying this system on his website. Now, you may be asking, well, how do uh, people get to that website? You know, you need traffic, you need all of that. Well, that's true because over here on the diagram, you can see that my first step here is traffic. So we have Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google, and emails, okay? So that's what we need to get as many people as possible to this squeeze page or the main landing page. Now, if we come back over here, and uh, let me just type in uh, personal trainers again. So what you'll, fi what you'll find here is there are a lot of people paying a lot of money just to advertise for personal trainers. Now, for example, this guy here, uh, if you look at Personal Trainers Birmingham, it costs, uh, cost per click is $3.10. So every time someone clicks on the ad, it's gonna charge, it's gonna cost them $3. Now, I can almost guarantee you that um, whoever is using this keyword, uh, Personal Trainers Birmingham, is losing a lot of money if they have a landing page similar to this. The landing page that will make you money is definitely a landing page like this one here, because chances are you're also going to make money here on the um, on the order bump as well, this $29 here, okay? So let's say two out of every 100 people uh, will be clicking that order bump. That's the money that could go towards uh, promoting this on Google, which is quite expensive. So instead of doing it this way, you can, you know, you, you can use that money on a page that is actually converting. So this is how sales funnels can be used in a real life situation. And as you can see, this page can, all, can convert much better than the other page that I showed you earlier on. I wanna hear your views. What do you think? Do you think that this system is much better than what I showed earlier on? Or do you think that the normal Simon King's website would actually convert as it is? So leave your comments in the comments box below. And also, by the way, if you wanna use Codflows as your sales funnel builder, it costs about $300. And I know you're probably saying, oh, wow, that's a lot of money, $300 for a plugin. Now, guess what? There's also another product out there that does a very good job of creating sales funnels. It's called ClickFunnels. And guess how much it costs? It costs $300 per month. So $300 per month versus $300 per year, you do the math. You obviously, you can see what's better. And Cutflows does a fantastic job of creating these sales funnels. Now, if you choose to purchase uh, Cutflows, I have a special discount for you if you buy it using my affiliate link. The link to that is in the description below. You can go ahead, check it out. I also have a course that can help you get started using Cutflows. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.